Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we're making a dog head. I just want to show you the difference between a puppy and a full-grown dog. Really notice the size of the eyes. I tried to make these the same size so you could see what a difference there is in the largeness of the eyes of the puppy. Uh, also notice the size of the nose grows as the dog gets bigger. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start with a sphere. And roll around for the sphere and then we want to turn it into an oval so we're going to go back and forth back and forth just smoothing those cracks and now we're going to add a muzzle large piece of clay for this you can really see how large that muzzle is roll another sphere round and round Turn it into a uh, column, make it longer, back and forth. And now we're going to push one piece onto the other. This is very, very soft clay. So I can do this. I would score and slip though. I just want to make sure that I make this under that 15 minute time frame. So I'm smoothing it in. And I can see it's a little bit too long here. I'm going to smush, smush, smush from the side. And now I'm going to get this kind of triangular shape right here by putting my fingers in that same shape and pushing the clay upward. Okay. Flat on the top. Look at it from the side. Uh, it looks like there's a little flat area there. Then it goes up, and then I'm flattening this area right here. Okay. Now I'm going to make this eye area right here by going straight back from that muzzle and here. This is a predator, so the eyes are in the front. Roll a little ball of clay, smaller than a pea. See how it looks? It seems big. I'm rolling it again. Looks about right. Now I'm going to take a, a uh, needle tool and cut this in half. And that's going to make this almond shape right here. Dip it in water and add it. Going horizontally as it is here. And now I need to make eyelids, a little piece of clay, roll it in my fingers, or I can roll it in my palms to make it really, really thin. If it breaks too much, then dip it in water and then try again. I'm making the upper lid. This is where the the tear duct is right in this area here. You want to begin low on the eye and then connect the bottom one. Try that again on the other eye. Rolling it in my fingers. Dip it in water. It'll make it so much easier dipping it in water than it sticks to it. I begin low on the eye. Notice I begin at basically the bottom of the eye to attach this. Very, very important or else it looks odd. Cut it off. And I'm going to take another little piece for the bottom lid. It's a little bit too wet to roll in my fingers, so I'm rolling it in my hands. Dip it in water so that it will stick. And touch it to where the tear duct is and cut it off. Now, I must take the back of my finger and press 
the very top eyelid in. Now, on some people, they have this top eyelid. There's, there is a line there. But on animals, they don't have this. They have an eyelid, but they don't have a line on both sides. I'm going to do the same with this one. So notice I'm just getting the outside so that the inside line remains. There we are. Okay. A little uneven, so I'm just pushing it down. Now, the nose. Take a piece of clay. Roll it into a ball, dip it in water, and you're going to put it on the top area, right on the top, like this, and you're going to smooth. Smooth it in at the bottom. Notice I'm not touching the top of it. I don't want to press it down yet. I want to see what it looks like. I'm looking at it from here. Looks quite good. Now I'm going to make the holes. Let's first make a little line around it so we can see it better. There we go. They're kind of like commas. And one line down the center. And that line continues down and across the side. And across the side. Kind of like a J. Now we're going to add the ears. I'm just going to take a piece of clay and I'm going to squish it so that it's not too thin. I'm going to look at the shape and I'm going to cut it about like that. Take another piece of clay and squish it. I don't want to make the ears too thin because otherwise they crack off. And laying one on top of the other, I can make the other one the exact same size. Now I'm going to just push those ends down so it doesn't look so mechanical. I'm going to look and see where to put those ears. Looks like I need a bigger head space right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of clay to each of these sides. Now I'm going to add the ears. They're added toward the top, as you can see right here. And the other one. I'm going to give it a little bit of presence just by putting a little hole in the eye. It looks more alive. And then I can add a little bit of clay in this jowl area. It really gives a nice 3D quality. Can we get the right size for that? And press. And for the other side. And press. Now, I'm going to make those little marks for the uh, whiskers. So it always looks so cute. Notice I'm using a pencil. You want 
large holes so the glaze will go in. Now I'm going to open up the mouth so I can make a tongue. So I'm just cutting in those same lines that I used, that I made before. And then I can open it with the same tool. Push down on the middle part so that I have a place to put the tongue. Take a piece of clay, make it round, blunt the end, squish, squish, put the line down the center for the tongue, cut it, insert, and there we are, cute little dog.